What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy S22. This video is going to show you all the hidden features and even some great tips and tricks that are going to allow you to use your Samsung Galaxy S22 like a complete expert. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video, the best hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy S22. Before I dive into some tips and tricks and hidden features for the phone and what it can do itself, I actually want to talk about the features for the physical design before we go into that. So as you know, it has a pretty similar design to the previous Samsung Galaxies with the more sharper edges but also the panel that encloses the cameras are no, is no longer there, or at least for the Samsung S22 Ultra. But as you know, the biggest part of this release is the S Pen, which you can find by just clicking this button right here and pulling this out. I'm gonna dive into a great amount of detail for the S Pen and what you can do with it. It's an incredible addition. If you have the Galaxy S Note, you'd know how to use this, but if you didn't, don't worry. I'm gonna go into so much detail about this S Pen and what you can do. There's tons of different opportunities you can go into detail with using this S Pen. Also, there's the camera ability is great, so I'm gonna show you guys some new features about the cameras with this phone. They're even better quality than the previous one, and that's a big step up and hard to do. And lastly, one of the cool features about this phone is now the fingerprint proof. So as you know, with previous phones, when you touch them and use them, you get your fingerprints on them, but they can get really dirty your screens and it's a hassle to clean them. You have to get the cloth and it's always just an annoying process. But with the Samsung Galaxy S22, there's actually no fingerprints that appear. And if they do, they're really easy to wipe off. I've had this phone for about a day now and there's been no fingerprints. And if they are, all I do is just that and they disappear. So that's a nice touch with the Samsung Galaxy S22. They put a new material coating around the front and the back of the screen that protects your phone from your oils on your fingers. So I love that part about the phone. It's much less of a hassle opposed to when you do get fingerprints on it. So I definitely hope you guys are excited about that part of the Samsung Galaxy S22 because who wants fingerprints on your phone? They're a hassle and it is annoying to clean up. So I think that's a really awesome feature about this new phone. Another great physical feature about this phone is that it's actually MagSafe compatible. So for those who don't know what that means, essentially what this means is this has MagSafe properties in the back of its phone allowing you to charge your phone wirelessly with a magnetic charger. So wires are a hassle and they're always a nuisance and that's why a lot of phone companies have moved away and started using MagSafe properties with their phones and now the Samsung Galaxy S22 has this. So all you need to do is stick your phone to the back of a magnetic charger to charge it and it'll be charged up and ready to go in a short amount of time. If you're looking for a magnetic charger, I personally recommend the Lightning Gear 2-in-1 charger or the Lightning Gear 3-in-1 charger right here. These are two both incredible products for your phone. If you wanna charge your phone with a nice design like these have, and you wanna charge them fast and efficiently, I definitely recommend using this. So if you're gonna use the Lightning Gear 2-in-1 charger, you just put your phone obviously right here. It's gonna get you charged up. It's gonna be a great stick. Then if you're using the 3-in-1 charger, you just put your phone right there and it's going to charge easily right there as well. So if you want access to these lightning gear chargers, all you have to do is just go to lgear.com. It's on the screen and it's also going to be in the description of this video. These chargers have very slick designs. I use them on a daily basis right when I go to bed. I always put my phone on these chargers and these are the best char lightning chargers out there. I definitely recommend them if you're going to start using the properties of the MagSafe compatibility like the Samsung Galaxy S22. You got to use the Lightning Gear. That's my recommendation and it is worth your while. So definitely check out lgear.com after this video. You can find the link to the website in the description of this video. A new feature I realized or I just learned about on the Samsung Galaxy S22 is it involves the volume button right here. So say I click the volume button to turn it up or down, you're gonna see these three little dots right here. If we click those, it's actually gonna take us to this volume panel where it has this music volume, whoops, it has the music volume and then all these other volumes. So basically what we can do is we can actually change the volumes of the different sounds on our phone. So if we want our ringtone to be a certain volume, we can have that at one ringtone at one volume. If we want to have our music at another volume, we can do that. If we want to have our notifications at a different one, we can do that. So it's all up to what you need. So if we have a system notification, we can have that up here, down there. So you can change your volumes. It doesn't have to be one specific volume for all of these different sounds. Depending on the sound, you can alter that volume. If you want to have this off, and then you can have all those off as well. To keep your music loud, you can do that. It's really up to you if you want your music off. Tons of different um, abilities you can choose from with this ringtone section. So now I'm going to show you guys 
If we go here, it's a better look at it. We have our ringtone turned up. We have our media turned off. I just turned it on. I just shut it off. Again, we have our notifications and systems all at different volumes. I think this is a super cool feature. It allows more versatility when using your volume and listening to music or having sounds on your phone. So definitely check that out when you get the chance on your new Samsung Galaxy S22. If we go to our control panel on the Samsung Galaxy S22, there's actually a cool feature you can do with the brightness. So if I go down to brightness right here and I hold that down or I click these three dots right here, Basically, what's gonna happen is gonna take it to this brightness option. It's gonna show us the level we're at right now, and we're gonna have our adaptive brightness shit turned on. So if I shut that off, basically, it's gonna keep me at the brightness I choose to have it at. But adaptive brightness, if you turn that on, it'll change your brightness depending on the lighting around you, or if your battery's low and need to save it, it'll turn that down. So this is what I definitely recommend if you want to have your adaptive brightness turned on because you're gonna be able to use your lighting in different settings or scenarios based on the lighting around you. So instead of having to choose it yourself. And also if you notice, there's this like little red tab right here at the end of the brightness. If we turn this up, that means our brightness is too high. It can be damaging to our eyes. So you definitely don't want that on. It's also a battery drainer which is not good for your phone. You don't want to be losing battery as fast as you can. So let adaptive brightness do the work for you, I'd say, and unless like you really need to change it yourself. But that's one great feature about the Samsung Galaxy S22. Leave it to adaptive brightness to change the brightness based on your battery levels and based on your surroundings where you're at in your environment. Another great hidden feature on the control panel of the Samsung Galaxy S22 is this power saving mode right here. We can turn that on if your battery's low or if you need to save some of your battery if you have an important call or you need to be somewhere and your phone might die. I definitely recommend turning that on, but by turning on power saving mode, you're actually shutting off certain features on your phone so you won't have access to them because those certain features use a lot of battery. But if we hold this down, it's going to give you more information. So it's going to get, have this learning usage patterns. So background network usage, syncing, and location check-ins will be limited based on the power saving mode. If we turn that off, we also have these other tabs right here where it's going to say turn off always on display, limit CPU speed to 70%, decrease brightness by 10%. So these are all different modes you can have on or off depending on your preference. I recommend them having on. But these are all settings you're going to want to turn on so it will save your battery when you need to use your phone and so you can use your phone longer. We also have this limit apps and home screen. So for maximum power saving, allow only selected apps, limited background activity, turn off edge panels and change the dark theme. I have it turned off, but it's your preference on what you want. It depends how much you use your phone and how much power you drain from it when using it. But it's your call. I just want to show you guys that cool little feature on the Samsung Galaxy S22. A super cool feature I want to show you guys on the Samsung Galaxy S22 is smart lock. So if we go to settings and then we go to lock screen right here, there's a smart lock section. If we click on it, just enter your pin quickly. And then it basically allows you to have on-body detection tr and trust places and trusted devices. So essentially, when your your key, your device will just stay unlocked while it's on you, regardless if you're using it or not. And you can add locations where the devices should be unlocked. So if you're in the comfort of your own home, you can add that location, that specific address, to keep that on. So you can add a trusted place right here. So say it's your home and you know that no one's going to be breaking in and using your phone and you want it unlocked. You can do that by just adding a location right there. We can have on body detection where it's after you unlock your device, it stays unlocked while it's in motion and when you're walking with it. So your device will stay unlocked for up to four hours if you put it on. So I'm going to turn this on and just keep in mind, this is an important note. On body detection can't distinguish between you and someone else. So if you're, someone takes your device while it's been unlocked, they might be able to access it. So only make sure you have this turned on if you're going to be the only one holding your phone. No one else is going to be using it. I'm going to click continue. And now that's turned on for me. And then trusted device is the last one I want to go over. So say you have like a Samsung, like a, a watch from Samsung or any like a Samsung TV, you can add a trusted device and after you unlock your device, it stays unlocked when it's connected to that other device, like a Bluetooth watch or a car system. So these are a little bit about smart unlock. I definitely recommend setting that up if you're comfortable doing that. But like I said, it's your call. If you want smart lock on, you can change it on your lock screen settings on the Samsung Galaxy S22. I want to now show you guys how to add widgets. It's super easy. If you know what a widget is, it's a certain section of your home screen with certain categories of apps or information, news, music, whatever that may be, any media. All you have to do is just hold down. I'm going to show you guys again. All you have to do is just hold down right here and you're going to take us to this page where you can clear apps and whatnot. But you're going to see this little widgets theme right here. We're just going to click on that. 
But as you can see, it gives you recommended widgets right off the bat. But let's look at smart widget right here. Basically, it's going to give us some information about the weather and different panels you can add for it. So I like this one. So I'm going to add this right here to my home screen. Let's go back to widgets. There's more to show you guys. We have Apple Music. We can choose two of these. If you have Spotify, it obviously would show up for there. But I'm a big basketball fan. So let's choose this Bleacher Report widget right here. And we can add that to our... And we, oh, we can also choose the team we want, but I'm going to go show you guys that later. So it's up to you what you want to add as widgets. In case you guys didn't know how to do that, widgets are big things on all phones nowadays, including the previous Samsung, the Google Pixel, and the iPhone. So it's up to you. If we want to add a Google Chrome one, we can do that. Let's choose this Google Chrome one right here. And now we have our widget set up. In case you guys didn't know how to do that, that's a cool little tip for you guys. I want to take a quick moment of your time to introduce you an incredible app where you can get free gift cards and cash simply by just taking surveys and shopping online. This app is called Swagbucks. You can download Swagbucks using our exclusive link. And with this link, you can actually get a $5 bonus on top of all the other great rewards you can get through the app. Now this link is exclusive to AppBind only and you are supporting our channel by using it, but you're also getting a $5 bonus and incredible rewards just by signing up for the app. So it is a complete win-win. I'm gonna show you guys a link right now and how to access it and get that $5 free bonus. Access this link and get that $5 bonus. All you have to do is just go to Safari or your web browser and type in bit.ly slash get swag bucks bonus. That is bit.ly slash get swag bucks bonus. It's on the screen right here, but it's also gonna be in the description of this video if you ever wanna check it out right after this video is over with. But if we click this link and go, it's gonna take us to the page where Swagbucks is and where you have the ability to download the app. So right here, you're gonna see right off the bat, it's gonna say $5 bonus simply by just signing up through this link right here. So you're gonna be able to earn free gift cards to your favorite stores through Swagbucks, but remember you get this additional $5 bonus right here. So it's a complete win-win scenario. Like I said, you're doing us a favor, but you're also doing yourself a huge favor and you do not wanna miss out on this app. I'm gonna run you guys through the app because it's super cool and it's definitely worth checking out. So to show you guys a preview of the app, like I said, you can earn tons of free gift cards to your favorite stores and you can shop online using Swagbucks. But for example, it's going to take you to a survey page where you're going to have access to tons of different surveys where you can get cash back and other great rewards. It's going to tell you how long each survey is, what kind of survey it is involving, and how much money you're going to get or what kind of rewards you're going to get off of that. So that's one example of it. But you can also shop online. It's going to tell you how much cash back you can get at certain stores. If your favorite stores, it's definitely worth getting some cash back and saving some money. You're going to be able to scan receipts and receive bonuses. So tons of different ways to get rewards and earn cash back through Swagbucks. Like I said, it is definitely worth checking out if you wanna shop and save some money while doing so. And remember, you get a $5 bonus using our link, which is bit.ly get swag slash get Swagbucks bonus. It's on the screen right here. It's also in the description. So definitely check that out after this video. And I thank you guys for watching this part. Did you guys know if you go to settings and then go all the way down to advanced features, there's actually tons of different cool features you can update and customize your phone. with. So for example, I wanted to show you guys side key. So with the side key and a double press, you can actually quick launch certain things. So as you can see, I already have it set to quick launch camera. So what happens when I double click this is it takes me right to my camera to take a photo when I need to. But if we go back to this advanced feature side key, we can choose open app instead. And then I can choose whatever app I want to choose when I double press. So I just did calculator just for the video's sake. And now it takes me right to the calculator, which is pretty cool. In case you guys didn't know that, of course, you can use your S Pen too, like I've already showed you guys. But tons of different options you can choose. And now if we press and hold, we can have wake Bixby or power off mode. Look what happens when we press and hold wake Bixby. It takes me to the Bixby app. And you guys can use that app, which is keep your hands free, get things done quickly, and control your devices. I'm not going to dive into Bixby, but it's pretty cool. That's one of the cool advanced features you guys can use on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Pro. But I'm going to dive into a few more right now. Last feature I want to show you guys on the advanced features section is right here. It's called one-handed mode, and I already have it turned on, but I want to show you guys how this works. Basically, one-handed mode is it just temporarily scales down the display size of your phone for easier control when you want to use your phone with just one hand. And this is really cool, actually. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Basically, it just says swipe down in the center of the bottom of the stage of the screen. So we're going to do that right now, just like this. 
and boom, just like that, we have it one-handed. We can choose which side we want to go to. I prefer using my left hand. So now if you just want to use your phone with one hand, you can use it like this right here. I prefer the left hand and it is now in a smaller scale than it pre the whole screen. It's a really large screen, so I can get why they have this setting because it's hard to reach across if you want to just use one hand. But this is definitely a tip that I, I definitely recommend checking out if you want to use one hand and it's hard for you to reach across that phone for some people and I definitely think it's a cool feature to check out. If you want to group apps together on the Samsung Galaxy S22, it is super easy to do. As you can see, we have a lot of apps to choose from. And if you want to put them in certain sections like this, for example, extras, all you have to do is just drag one app and just drag it where another app is like this, and they're gonna both appear, or you can swap them like that, and then you can add that folder name. You've obviously been able to do this on previous phones. I just think it's a little bit different for the Samsung Galaxy S22, so I just wanted to alert you guys with that. If you wanna put the settings in here, we can do that. Just throw them into this folder, and you can title that whatever you want. That's one way to move the apps. If you wanna hold that down, you can also have access to change your wallpapers or delete wallpapers. You can add different wallpapers and styles right here. Like we said, I like these ones right now, but if you want to choose from different ones, you can choose those. But I just want to show you guys how you can use your wallpapers. I'm going to skip this for now. And we go back. We also have different themes to add. For example, if we click on themes right here, we can get news and special offers. Let's click that. But look at all these different Galaxy themes. You can get this by setting up your Samsung account, so definitely you don't want to miss out on that. But look at all these amazing themes you can choose from. Most of these are free. There's some you have to pay for. So it's up to you if you want to spend money on those. But regardless, I definitely recommend checking those out. And I'm going to hold down the screen again. I want to show you guys. You can access more home screen settings on the settings section in your Samsung Galaxy S22. I'm not going to dive into all of these, but there's a lot of information there if you want to look those over. But there's a lot of different ways you can customize your Samsung Galaxy S22. So I definitely recommend doing that when you get the chance. The newest and greatest feature about the new Samsung Galaxy S22 is the S Pen. And there are tons of things to cover with it. And I'm going to walk you guys through all of them. So to access the S Pen, all you have to do is just click this button right here and pull it out. And now we have access to the S Pen. Right when we take it out, it's going to take us to this air command section with all of the different opportunities you can use with it. As you can see, it says my percentage of the, um, my charging percentage of the S Pen, which is at 100%. Then we have create note, view all notes, all of these options. Then we have the option to add and settings. So we're going to go to create notes. I'm going to show you guys how to use that first. This is a great feature for the Samsung Galaxy S22. So now we have tons of different options to choose from with touch and hold and drag to move this toolbar around. So if we wanna title it, I can title it by just typing in my name. I usually prefer using my hands to type, but this is just to set the title of the folder. And then once I set it like that, that's the title. And now I can start writing anything I want. I don't have any really important notes, but this is one cool feature you have on the notes section. So if you like to jot down notes using a pen or using paper and a pen, this is essentially what you can do with a paper and pen, except now on your Samsung Galaxy S22. So I'm going to put the pen away for a second just to show you guys some other cool features. So if we go to look at the notes right here, basically you're going to see we have this tab section right here where we can have insert, page sorter, page template, page settings. So you can insert different files into these notes. So you can make it very intuitive. Um, say we want to change the color of the highlighter, we can do that. Tons of different options to choose from. We have the keyboard also right here. And you can remember, you can use the S Pen throughout this whole process. So it's completely your call. I prefer typing without the S Pen, but the S Pen has tons of other different benefits I'm gonna show you guys outside of using it to write down. And that's what I'm gonna get into next. So since the S Pen comes with the Galaxy S22 Pro, it actually comes right inside it. You definitely don't wanna lose that. So to prevent losing it, there's actually a way we can do that with the S Pen. If we just click on it and pull it out, the air command will pop up. And basically, if we just go to settings right here, it's going to take us to all the way down where it's going to say warn if pen is left behind. And basically, this is turned on. You always want to keep this on. So basically what happens is say I put the pen away and I start moving the phone away or something like that. It's gonna let us know that the S Pen is not inside the Galaxy S22, and it's gonna help find the location of where that is. So it's gonna say, show a warning if you leave your S Pen behind and walk away with your phone while the screen is, is off, 
last removed 227 22 4 17 a.m so as you know i removed it a minute ago and watch what happens when i shut off my phone so as you can see, I get this notification saying, got your S Pen. It's not inside your phone. Make sure it's somewhere safe. You can also allow the physical activity permissions for even more accurate loss detection. So basically, I left my S Pen right over here away from it. I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you don't have it and how to fix that. So this is one cool feature for the Galaxy S22. So turn definitely turn on warn if s pen is left behind you don't want to lose this it's supposed to stay in your phone so always have that on your phone will let you know though if you don't have it and if you do lose it it'll help you find it so that's one cool feature about the s pen that i definitely recommend you guys sharing and having that turned on at all times i want to take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys an incredible app where you can earn rewards and other great prizes simply by just answering questions taking surveys and sharing feedback, and that app is Quick Thoughts. Using our exclusive link I'm about to share with you guys, you guys can earn all these rewards by just answering thoughtfully different surveys and taking surveys and other quizzes. And I'm gonna show you guys how to access that link right now. Claiming free rewards and other great prizes with Quick Thoughts using our exclusive link. All you have to do is just go to Safari or any other web browser and type in bit.ly slash get quick thoughts. That is bit dot ly slash get quick thoughts it's also in the link in the description of this video and it is right here on the screen if you in case you forget it make sure to check those links out after this video but basically all you have to do is just type that in and click go it is going to actually take us to the app on the app store itself so essentially it's going to give you an overview of the app right here and look if you look right here it's going to show you all the different rewards and prizes you can actually win such as gift cards different discounts cash back and other great rewards all from this app just by taking simple surveys and sharing feedback on certain things. I'm going to show you guys the app in a second, but this is a quick preview of it. All you have to do is just download it today. Once we're on the app page using the link we gave you guys, you're just going to click open. It's going to take us to the Quick Thoughts app. It's going to ask you to sign up or if you're an existing user, just put in your information, but it's completely free to use. And keep in mind that you guys are supporting our channel by using the link we shared with you. But also on top of that, you guys are getting access to some of the best rewards and prizes with the different surveys that Quick Thoughts come with by using our exclusive link. So definitely keep that in mind and definitely use our link when downloading Quick Thoughts. On top of that, this is an overall win-win app where you guys actually have the chance to win great rewards and prizes simply by just taking quizzes in different surveys. So you guys do not want to miss out on this opportunity and make sure to click that link. It is bit.ly slash getquickthoughts. It's in the link in the description of the video, so just click that when this video is over, and thank you guys for watching this part of the video. Enjoy. Like I previously said, if you're not a fan of using the S Pen to write down or take notes or type in messages, you don't have to use it for that. But to kill time, you can actually use it to color with the coloring book app on the Samsung Galaxy S22. I tried this out earlier, and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. It's a cool thing to do when you want to kill time or if you have nothing to better do, or even if you're a fan of drawing or you're an artist, whatever it may be, I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. Just get your S Pen out, pull it out right here, and now you're going to see that we have all these options right here, but the coloring book is not an option on this command bar right here. No big deal. We just click add right here. It's going to take us to the shortcuts page, and you're going to see coloring right here. We're just going to click that. And now that's going to be added to our lineup right here. So now if we exit out like this, and if we just go to the air command by tapping this pen icon right here, we're going to go to the coloring right here, and it's going to take us to the coloring book, right? Well, my apologies. We're going to go to coloring, and now we're here. We click continue. And now look at all the different options once they load, obviously, that we can use when coloring with the coloring book. Right here, here they are. So if I click on this one, for example, we can start coloring and I can use any of these colors to choose from and I can start doodling and coloring it in. Obviously, not the best color as it is. It's gonna be even tough to do it on the camera as well. But if you're a big fan of drawing or coloring, you can use this coloring book app on the S Pen. Super easy to do. All you have to do is just add that as an icon into the section where you get the pen icon right here. Just click on add, you'll get the color section. There's gonna have tons of options to choose from. So let's exit out of this and save it as that. I just wanna show you guys all the other options you have to choose from. I just wanna show you guys all the options you have to choose from right here. And then the cool part about this is there's all these different popular ones. It gives you all this information about these. So say I start coloring, and even though I didn't finish coloring, I just barely started right there with that little 
divot. You can click this and you can share it to any of your accounts like Instagram. You can sign with your Samsung account, sign with Google, and you can share this on any of your platforms you wish to do so. So if you're a big artist and you like to color and you want to express that yourself and show yourself your, your work to other people, I definitely recommend using this coloring app on the Samsung Galaxy S22. It is definitely worth it for people who love to draw. So definitely check that out. Next feature I want to talk about for the S Pen for the Samsung Galaxy S22 is the translate feature. So with translate, you can take a picture and if that picture has words in it and you hover the S Pen over the words in that photo, it'll actually translate that into any language you want. So for example, if I go to the camera right here and let's say I take a picture of this uh, Samsung right here where it says Samsung. I take a picture and then I go to that right here but if i hover the s pen over this word right here for example you can see it's going to come up translated by google from samsung to samsung obviously since it's a company name it's not gonna change it but if it was another word like hi it would change it to ola or whatnot but as you can see and then i can click voice right here and and it's gonna say the voice it's gonna say the word in that language so this is a super cool feature you can do this with tons of different options and photos on the Galaxy S22. But I just wanted to show you guys a quick example right there. So definitely when you have the chance, try and translate by taking photos of certain words, and then you're gonna see that you can translate that into any language you want with the S Pen. So go check that. I wanna show you guys a better example of this translate. Since Samsung's a company, it's not gonna be a Spanish or a different language version of that. So basically I took a picture of this Aquaphor, and if I click on translate right here, right here and I go to translate and I hover over advanced right here like this. As you can see, it's gonna come up with the Spanish version of that Avisado. Or if I go to therapy right here, it's gonna go to the version of that. I wanna show you guys that because I feel like you guys deserved a better example. But definitely check out the S Pen's translate option when you have the chance. All you have to do is just hover over the certain word you're looking at to translate and then you can change the languages up here. Super easy to use, definitely recommend checking that out. I wanna take a quick break from the video to introduce to you guys Rakuten, the best app to get cash back and other great deals. With Rakuten, you're gonna be able to shop at stores you love and earn great rewards and other great deals just by using this app. And also with our exclusive link with Rakuten, you're gonna be able to earn an additional $30 just by using it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to access that link and earn your free $30 right now. Claim your free $30 from Rakuten using this exclusive link. All you want to do is just go to Safari or any web browser you have and type in bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. That is bit.ly slash get ebates bonus. Now that's in the link in the description as well of this video and it's on the screen right here. So make sure to check those out to find it at the end of this video. But this link is exclusive to AppFind. So you only can get this $30 from using this link. So we made sure to get you guys the best rewards possible through this partnership. And you guys are also supporting our channel by doing this. So I wanna thank you guys for that. But let's click on the link right here. It'll be in the description, like I said. And it's gonna take you to this page and it's gonna say, I recommend you to get $30 once you join and spend $30. So all you have to do is just create an account on Rakuten, which is completely free, no charges or costs involved. And once you spend that $30, on Rakuten, you're gonna get a free additional $30 on top of that. So it's a win-win because you're gonna be able to get free $30 and you're gonna be able to get cash back while shopping at your favorite stores. So all you have to do is just put in your email and create a password and then you are good to go with this exclusive link with Rakuten. For using our exclusive link, I wanna show you guys the Rakuten app. It is right here. It is super easy to use and navigate. It has up to 3,500 plus stores where you can earn cash back and other great rewards. So odds are that if there's 3,500 plus stores, one of these are gonna be your favorite stores to shop at. So you're losing money if you essentially do not download this app and use our exclusive link to get that extra $30. But as you can see, there's tons of different sections to choose from. Stores are members to love. For example, we got Macy's and Walmart. At Macy's, you can earn 10% cash back other great deals in the category section. So if you have a specific category you want to look into for sports and goods or health and beauty or any of these, you can gladly go to do that on this category section. But if we click on sports and outdoors, for example, we're going to see Lululemon, Athleta, Adidas, all these other stores right here where you can earn cash back. We're going to click on Lululemon. It's going to show you the 2% cash back right here and more information. It's going to tell you when it expires. It's going to show you these top coupons. But this is just one of the categories of many 
anything you want to shop, essentially Rakuten will have that. So you guys definitely got to download this app. You're losing out on money if you aren't using Rakuten. And think, keep in mind that you're also going to get an additional $30. So you're overall saving tons of money by using our exclusive link and using Rakuten in general. And do not miss out on this opportunity, guys. Enjoy. For the S Pen, when you pull it out, if you want to get a better look at it, there's actually a button on the side of that. And by holding down this button, you can actually activate different gestures on your Samsung Galaxy S22. So watch what happens when I hold this button down. It's going to take me to the camera, and that's what happened when I got my Samsung Galaxy S22. That's what it was set to. But you can change that depending on what your preference is. So say we go to the S Pen option right here, then we go to Settings. The first the option we're going to have, it's going to, it's called air action. So we're going to click on air actions and then we have that turned on obviously. And it shows that my S pens at hundred percent right now. So that's always good to check, but you can hold the pen button down and I have mine as camera right here, but you can choose all these different options to choose from when holding down that S button. So you can go to home, you can go to back, you can go to recent. I don't mind having it on camera. You can go to pen up, whatever you want to choose for this button on the side of the S Pen, you can gladly do so. I might keep, I'm gonna keep it on Chrome and then watch what happens when I hold that down. I just put it to Chrome and now, when I hold it down, it's gonna take me to Google Chrome to look up what I need to look up. That's just one example of the many options you can choose from when holding down the side button, so I definitely recommend checking that out. All you have to do is just to go back and show you guys, just go to settings, go to air actions right here, and then we're gonna have the option to choose hold pen button down too. And then you're gonna have all these options right here. So definitely check these out when you have the chance and whatever your preference is, you can make your pen button go to that setting or choose what that option does. The next feature about the S Pen I wanna to talk to you guys about is all the cool gestures you can use when using the pen. So if we go back to what I was just at, go to settings right here and then go to air actions, I just previously showed you guys that when you hold down the pen button, it goes to Google Chrome. But if you look below, you're going to see all these different options where it says back home recent smart select and screen write with these certain gestures. So when I move the pen with these gestures, what's going to happen is those commands are going to occur. So for example, if I want to go to smart select right here, I just have to hold the pen button down and go like that. And basically, Smart Select's gonna come up right here and I can choose any of these options. I actually held down for too long, which is why it took me to Chrome. But if we go back to the air actions right here, you're gonna choose all these different gestures and say I want Smart Select, say I want this direction or this gesture to be something else. Similar to when I hold down the button, I just choose one of these options to make that left and back action. So it's pretty cool. You have tons of different gestures to choose from and tons of different apps or commands you can use when using these gestures. Then also if you scroll down right here, you can choose what happens when you perform air actions in certain apps. So if you wanted to have, a, you wanna to go to camera for example, and you have all these options. So for example, if we go to single press, take a picture or record a video, let's try that out right now. So if I go to camera right here, and I just wanna take a picture, all I have to do is just hold down the pens button right here, and now I just took a picture of my desk, but that's one of the cool features. If we go back to the settings right here and we go back to air actions, I go back to camera. We have all these other options to choose from, switch cameras by doing two clicks, switch cameras with the arrows. So you can choose whatever you want for any of these options but there's only limited apps that you can choose with that work with the S Pen. So make sure you find ones on the Google Play Store that you can use with the S Pen. But overall, this is a pretty cool feature that I definitely recommend using it. And always, if you want to find any of your air commands, just go to this pen icon right here and you can find these ones. And I'm going to dive into more detail about what else you can do with the Air Pen or the S Pen right now. I already showed you guys a little bit about the Notes app earlier, but I want to show you guys actually how to take notes on the fly with the Quick Notes setting turned on in the S Pen settings. So basically what this is, is if we go to the S Pen settings by just opening air command, going to the settings right here, then you're gonna see create quick notes. And basically what this says is press and hold the S button, then tap the screen twice with your S Pen to create a new note. I have that turned on. I'm gonna show you guys how that works right now. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the S Pen, take a note, and now a notepad comes up right here where we can take notes quickly and if we have to jot something down fast, we can use that really fast by just typing in 
or using the S Pen to draw what we want, write what we want. But that's an easy way to access quick notes. Like I said, just go to settings on the S Pen by going to the air command or pen icon right here. And then make sure that is turned on. But overall, if you want to just write something down and then save it, you can do that. But I just wanted to show you guys that for an example. Like I said, just go right here, settings, then make sure create quick notes is turned on. And I have mine on. Make sure you guys do that if you want to access this and you if you like to take notes quickly or have things in your brain pop up and you want to write them down if you're one of those type of people. Just set, set this up quickly. It's super easy to do. And it's one of the cool features for the Samsung Galaxy S22 and the S Pen. With the S Pen, you can actually translate your writing to text by just simply writing something down with the S Pen and it'll convert into a text on the Samsung Galaxy S22. So as you know, when you try to write with the S Pen, it can be kind of messy since you're actually not like using a real pencil or you're not typing anything. So that's why this is a really handy tool and a great hidden feature. So what you have to do is just go to pull out your S Pen, then go to settings right here. And then as you can see, we have S Pen to text turned off. But if we turn that on right here, basically this is going to allow us to translate our S Pen messages into a text. So for example, if we go to Google Chrome right here and I try to write in something like one, two, three, basically you're gonna see that it converts into text one, two, three. Obviously it'd be easier to do if I wasn't in front of the camera right now, but if you wanna type in anything or write anything, it'll automatically translate that into text. The Samsung Galaxy S22 is a very intuitive phone, so even if it's a pretty messy handwriting, I'm sure I'll be able to pick it up as you can see, I didn't even write one, two, three that good, but it came up and it translated that to text. So that's one cool way to translate your S Pen messages into text. Like I said, all you have to do is just go to settings and make sure that S Pen to text is turned on. There, as you can see, there's a lot of cool features in this S Pen settings area, and I'm gonna be walking through a lot of these. I've already covered a good amount, but a lot of different things you can do are available in this S Pen setting. So definitely check this out when you get the Ga Galaxy S22 and when you're using your S Pen. Next cool feature I wanna talk about for the S Pen is this air view, which I already have turned on. So if we click on this right here, basically it's gonna say preview text images or web pages by hovering your S Pen over the screen. You can preview calendar events and reminders. You can quickly see the pictures in your albums by hovering your S Pen over them. You can scroll up and down by hovering your S Pen over the edge of the screen and you can hover your S Pen over a link to the preview of a web page. So basically I'm gonna show you guys how this works. For example, if we go to calendar right here and we hover over Valentine's Day, for example, I don't have any notes specifically written in Valentine's Day, but as you can see, some more information pops up, President's Day pops up. If I go to Chrome right here and hover over this link right here, you're gonna see that the full link comes up and there's tons of different things you can do with this. This just allows you to get more information about what you're looking at or what information you're reading with the S Pen without actually having to read all of it. So if you wanna do that, just make sure you have AirView turned on. Super easy to do, just go to settings and then turn on AirView right here on the S Pen setting, super easy to do. And I definitely recommend choosing that if you want to get brief information without having to read the whole thing on your Samsung Galaxy S22. The next feature for the S Pen and the Samsung Galaxy S22 I want to talk to you guys about it is called Screen Write. Basically, this allows you to take screenshots or pictures with the S Pen by simply pushing a button. And then that screenshot, you can actually write notes on that screenshot with your S Pen, whatever you need to write down. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. For example, if we go to calendar right here, and we go to the 14th, even though that's already passed, and I go to screen right. Basically, it's gonna take a picture of this month, and I'm gonna circle February right here, and now it's a screenshot, and I can write down whatever I want, and I can write important notes if I need to, but as you can see, this is one cool feature. If you have to write notes based on a picture you need to take, you can do that with screen right on the Samsung Galaxy S22 using your S Pen. You can use this for multiple different reasons. Say you want to design a house or you need to find a, you're trying to plan out a furniture in your room. You can take a picture or take a screenshot of a certain living room and you can draw in the furniture or you can draw in your friends hanging out. Whatever you need to do, if you're bored, you can do it like I showed you guys earlier. You can do it with the coloring book. If you get bored, there's tons of different things you can do with the S Pen. So I definitely recommend checking out ScreenWrite. Like I said, this is right on the air command option on the S Pen. It's right here in this purple. So super easy to use, just takes a screenshot. And I definitely recommend checking that out on the Samsung 
Galaxy S22 with your new S Pen. The next feature I want to talk about for the Samsung Galaxy S22 and the S Pen is, there's a lot of S Pen features I'm giving you guys, but it's all worth it because this is the coolest feature about the Samsung Galaxy S22. Basically, the S Pen, what it does is unlock is if you click that and then you put in your pin number, which I'm going to do right now, then now you have the option to enter your pin number with your S Pen. So if you go on, it's super easy to do. It's a pretty simple thing. I just turned it on. All you do is just enter your pin, and then when you shut off your phone, you can actually just enter your pin with your S Pen instead of having to do it with your hands. So it picks it up and it knows it's you. Your phone knows it's you using your S Pen to get in there, just to be safe. So I definitely recommend turning that on if you just want an extra layer of protection with the S Pen. So definitely check out that. It's super easy to do. Just go to this right here and you click on settings, it'll take your S Pen and just turn on S Pen Unlock. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. These were the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy S22. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button for more great content like this. And while you're at it, make sure to go to our App Find VIP newsletter and subscribe to that. You can find that at appfindvipnewsletter.com. And this is our email newsletter where you're gonna have the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. You'll also add a, automatically be entered into our app find giveaways where you can give away iTunes and Google Play gift cards to our lucky winners. So you don't want to miss out on that. So definitely subscribe to our newsletter. And while you're at it, also give us a follow on Instagram at app find VIP. We're going to be posting the best hidden features, tips and tricks to the phones like Samsung Galaxies, iPhones and all other cool tech products out there. And lastly, go to bestrewardapps.com to find all of our affiliates and all their great apps that you can use. We recommend all these apps on this list and they're definitely worth checking out. So I hope you guys have the ability to check out our newsletter, Instagram, and this website right here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.